Hey guys, I will be continuing with the Halloween tutorials next week, but today we're making a Disney-inspired Pocahontas doll. Besides the slightly exaggerated waist, most Disney princesses are usually anatomically correct, so for this you can just use the sketch of a normal woman if you have that. I show mine in my first doll tutorial if you haven't seen that. And then you just want to begin by making an armature the same way I did in my corpse sprite video. Then mix the skin tone and begin sculpting the face. For the skin tone I used a couple of my doll clays which are just basic flesh tones and then I mixed in some light brown and some orange to get a more golden shade. So to sculpt Pocahontas' face, I found a few pictures on Google. I found one from the front, one from a third quarter something view, and then from the profile. I also found one where she was looking up, so you could see the face from underneath. One problem that you'll find with some of these 2D animated characters is that because they don't need to show all the different angles when doing the animation, the different angles or images don't necessarily fit 100% anatomically and so you may have to guesstimate and just do somewhat what it would look like if it was a real face. Another problem with a character like Pocahontas is that when you see her in the movie, her nose bridge is never defined unless you see her from the profile, so you really have to kind of just guess or make it fit to what you are able to see, so the width of the nostrils or, you know, the side views of the profile, what you can see from there, and then build up a nose that would suit what you're able to see in the movie. A couple of you have been asking questions about the base I've been using to sculpt on in a couple of my recent videos. This is just a ceramic piece I made myself. I made it so that I could sculpt on it and move it directly into a stove or an oven and bake it. The reason why I put the head on another sheet of clay is so that I could add some extra width to the jaw because it wasn't quite wide enough and didn't have the correct distance to the ear compared to the picture of her in profile. I then pre-baked the head and attached some ears. For the ears and for her body in general, I really didn't add too much details because I wanted to keep that almost cartoonish look. You could make it more detailed and more realistic if you wanted, but to keep it true to the movie, I just decided to do it like this. Oh, and after baking the head the first time, I added clay to the back and put it on a needle, which is why it's on a needle, and then I pre-baked it again before adding the ears. Then begin adding clay to the torso, smooth that out, and add a couple of balls of clay for the boobs. 
I know some of you are gonna laugh at this, but it's true. She needs to have kind of perky boobs because otherwise the shape or silhouette won't match the way she looks in the movie. I also added a tiny bit of details to the back, just where the clothes won't necessarily cover, and then to her decolletage or collarbone. I then pre-baked the torso and started adding clay to the waist and hips and then I pre-baked again before adding clay to the arms and legs. After pre-baking that, I added clay to the thighs, the shins and then the part of the arm that's not the forearm, I forgot the word, but you know, the one that's closer to the shoulder. Eh, you wanna add clay to that and then I pre-baked again. You then want to sculpt the feet and the hands, pre-bake those and attach them to the rest of the doll. And again I'm keeping them fairly simple to keep that cartoonish look. I did receive some requests for making decent princesses and I am planning on making more so I'd like to know which ones are your favorites. Pocahontas, Ariel and Kidaka Cash are definitely my top three but I like a lot of them and I would like to make as many as possible so let me know in the comments which ones you'd like to see. It doesn't even have to be princesses, just Disney characters in general or animated characters, just anything that you think would be fun to see a doll version of. After adding all the fingers to the hands, I did pre-bake them before adding the rest of the clay and before I started making them look neat, just because having that stability from the baked clay makes it a lot easier.
And then once you're done, you should have something like this. To attach the head, you just want to slide it onto the wire and let it rest on the neck. Then bend the two wires to each side and cut off any excess. This way the head will turn, but it won't be very loose. Then add details to the face using acrylic paint. Again, keep it simple because there aren't a lot of details and you can choose if you want the eyes to be brown like they are in some pictures or if you want them to be just black like in the movie. I also added a tiny bit of blush and contouring using soft pastels. For the hair I used black mohair and attached it using Aileen's tacky glue. If you want to see this process in more details, I'd recommend checking out my first doll tutorial and then maybe my little girl tutorial. I also used black acrylic paint for the hairline just because that way you don't need to worry as much about making it too exact. While the glue was drying before adding the rest of the hair, I decided to paint the arm. And then to make a really quick version of the outfit, I took two colors of fabric and cut and glued just little by little, attaching only tiny areas at a time. Lastly, I sculpted a quick version of the necklace and after baking, I added details using acrylic paint. Really hope you liked it, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great weekend!